It's a vast pottery army which is slowly being unearthed from the tomb where it's lain for more than 2,000 years. Deep within the heart of China lies an ancient mystery that has intrigued archaeologists and historians alike for centuries. Sealed beneath the silent earth, hidden from the gaze of the modern world, lies the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. Yet, despite its tantalizing promise of treasures and artifacts from over two millennia ago, this tomb remains untouched. What secrets lie within this ancient tomb, untouched for millennia? What treasures and artifacts from China's distant past await discovery? Join us as we delve into the mysterious depths of Emperor Qin Shi Huang's tomb, uncovering the reasons behind scientists' fear. Emperor Qin Shi Huang Qin Shi Huang, a legendary figure in Chinese history, wielded immense power during his reign. Born around 259 BCE in the state of Xi'an, where his father had once been a prisoner, Qin Shi Huang ascended to the throne at the tender age of 13. From a young age, he showed incredible determination and a talent for conquest. This young emperor-to-be was not alone in his quest for dominance. He had a brilliant advisor named Lu Bu Wei, who played a crucial role in helping him solidify his authority and expand his realm. Additionally, his trusted general, Wang Jian, skillfully led his forces to victory over enemies, using a blend of diplomacy, deception, and sheer military strength. Qin Shi Huang systematically subdued the other six warring states, starting with Han in 230 BCE and finishing with Qi by 221 BCE. This series of conquests marked the unification of China under his rule, and he declared himself its first emperor. However, Qin Shi Huang's ambitions went far beyond just ruling his empire. He wanted to make his empire grander and more powerful. To achieve this, he started many important reforms and projects. He made the writing system, currency, weights, measures, and laws the same throughout his empire, which made administration more efficient. He built a vast network of roads and canals to connect different regions, which improved trade and communication. One of his most famous projects was the construction of the Great Wall, a massive barrier that stretched thousands of kilometers along the northern border to protect against nomadic invaders. But Qin Shi Huang's goals weren't just about expanding his territory. He was also fascinated by the unknown and mysterious. He launched daring expeditions to explore uncharted lands beyond his borders. Additionally, he became obsessed with the idea of immortality, constantly searching for ways to live forever. Qin Shi Huang, a forward-thinking and visionary leader, left a lasting impact on ancient China. Under his rule, the once-crushed Qin state transformed into a powerful and prosperous empire. His reign, spanning from 220 to 210 BCE, saw numerous remarkable achievements and innovations. However, it's important to remember that alongside these accomplishments, there were also instances of destruction and oppression. Qin Shi Huang's notorious actions, such as the burning of books and the burial of scholars, instilled fear and resentment among the people. His harsh rule led to uprisings and rebellions against his authority. Ultimately, his life came to an end during a routine inspection tour in 210 BCE. One of the most interesting and mysterious legacies he left behind was his mausoleum, known as the Mausoleum of the First Qin Emperor. This incredible structure remained hidden for thousands of years, its secrets locked away until the 20th century. The story of its discovery began humbly when local farmers were digging a well in 1974. Little did they know that their ordinary endeavor would soon turn into a global sensation and a site of immense archaeological importance. Ying, a resident of Yang village, became an unexpected pioneer when he and his fellow workers dug deeper into the earth. As they worked with their shovels and picks, they uncovered several pieces of terracotta. At first, the significance of these fragments was a mystery. 
Unaware of the treasure they had found, the farmers reported their discovery to local authorities. The news of this incredible find quickly spread, capturing the interest of Chinese archaeologists. Preliminary expeditions were sent to investigate the site, gradually revealing the scale and importance of the discovery. It wasn't long before systematic excavations began under the guidance of the Archaeological Institute of Shanxi. What the experts found left them amazed. A vast underground complex containing an entire army of life-size terracotta soldiers, horses and chariots, all meticulously arranged as if ready for battle. This awe-inspiring discovery became known as the Terracotta Army, an archaeological treasure that not only showcased the ambition of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, but also illuminated a fascinating chapter in ancient Chinese history. The Secrets of China's Ancient Mausoleum The discovery of the ancient mausoleum and its fascinating contents sparked a great rise of interest in China's rich history and the exciting field of archaeology. Scholars and enthusiasts from all over the world flocked to the city of Xi'an, driven by a relentless curiosity to uncover the secrets hidden beneath the earth. This global fascination revitalized the local economy as tourism boomed and visitors poured into this historic site, transforming the region into a vibrant hub of cultural exploration. Recognizing the immense cultural and historical value of the mausoleum, the Chinese government quickly invested in its preservation, showcasing it as a testament to the grandeur of China's ancient legacy. In 1987, this remarkable complex, which includes the mausoleum and the famous Terracotta Army, was honored with the prestigious UNESCO World Heritage Site designation. This accolade solidified its reputation as one of the most incredible archaeological discoveries the world has ever seen. However, a mysterious and chilling theory lingers about the construction of the mausoleum. It suggests that over 700,000 individuals were forced into labor and subsequently killed to keep the secrets of the mausoleum hidden. The mausoleum project was not just a massive undertaking. It was an audacious display of ambition, spanning over 56 square kilometers. This monumental endeavor, believed to have taken decades to complete, required the combined efforts of thousands of laborers, artisans, engineers, and craftsmen. Within its vast expanse, the mausoleum housed not only the emperor's tomb, but also the intricately designed inner chambers and the renowned terracotta army. These were not hastily constructed. Each piece was meticulously crafted, showcasing immense dedication and skill. Historical records, including those of the grand historian Sima Qian, provide substantial evidence that up to 700,000 laborers were conscripted for this Herculean construction task. This vast workforce highlights the lengths to which the ruler went to realize his vision. The mausoleum was more than a burial site. It symbolized the emperor's dominion and the universe he controlled. It harbored state secrets, pioneering techniques, and treasures of great significance, kept hidden to maintain the ruler's power and legacy. Additionally, in ancient Chinese beliefs, the idea of an afterlife held significant importance. Safeguarding one's journey to the other world was crucial, especially for the emperor. Protecting the sanctity and security of the tomb was of utmost importance, as any leaks of information or revelations of the mausoleum's secrets could endanger his passage to the afterlife and the endurance of his legacy. The idea of orchestrating mass executions to maintain secrecy is both chilling and thought-provoking. Critics question its plausibility, arguing that the coordinated extermination of 700,000 individuals would have been a logistical nightmare, causing considerable upheaval and unrest. Such a massive act of violence could not have remained hidden for long, as historical records and archaeological discoveries should have documented it. However, proponents of this theory present an alternative viewpoint. They suggest that these mass executions might have occurred systematically over an extended period. It is theorized that groups of workers involved in constructing specific sections of the mausoleum could have been quietly rotated and silenced over time. This methodical approach would gradually accumulate, resulting in the staggering number mentioned.
the terracotta army of Emperor Qin Shi Huang. The Qin dynasty, renowned for its harshness and strict adherence to legalist principles, left an indelible mark on history during the reign of its first emperor. During his rule, he implemented a series of extraordinary and often infamous measures. Among these were the notorious burning of books and the brutal burial of Confucian scholars. Given this dark backdrop, it's not implausible to consider that he may have even resorted to executing laborers to safeguard the secrets of his grand mausoleum. One of the most captivating and awe-inspiring discoveries within this monumental mausoleum is the Terracotta Army. It stands as an unparalleled marvel in archaeology, firmly establishing its place in history as one of the most astonishing finds of the 20th century. The scale of the Terracotta Army is truly staggering, comprising over 8,000 life-size soldiers, 130 magnificent chariots, 520 splendid horses, and 150 courageous cavalry horses. These remarkable figures are carefully arranged across three distinct pits within the vast expanse of the mausoleum. Each figurine is placed with thorough detail according to its specific role and rank within the military formation. The outcome is a remarkably precise depiction of a grand army, appearing poised and prepared as if anticipating the imminent issuance of strategic commands by its commander. What truly captivates both visitors and historians alike is the distinct individuality carved into the face of each terracotta soldier. No two of these impressive statues are identical. Each soldier possesses a unique combination of facial features, expressions, hairstyles, and attire. This careful attention to detail offers a tantalizing glimpse into the extraordinary skills of the ancient Chinese artisans who meticulously crafted these figures. It also hints at the existence of an exceptionally efficient production system for these terracotta marvels. Legend has it that the creation of these remarkable soldiers followed a method similar to an assembly line. Various skilled artisans specialized in crafting specific body parts, each honing their expertise to perfection. These individual components, similar to pieces of a grand puzzle, were then expertly assembled into the imposing statues. Yet, amidst this assembly line precision, a personal touch was not overlooked. Post-assembly, each terracotta warrior received its own unique and intricate facial features, imbuing them with a distinctive character that sets them apart from one another. The terracotta army goes well beyond simply capturing facial features. It intricately portrays the lives of soldiers, including their attire, weaponry, and even distinct hairstyles. These elements aren't merely decorative. They symbolize the ranks and roles each soldier held within Emperor Qin Shi Huang's vast army. Each figure embodies the essence of its role. Archers stand ready with bows drawn, infantrymen carry weapons with vigilance, generals exude authority, and charioteers are poised to take command. Their carefully crafted uniforms are emblematic of their duties. Archers carry quivers laden with arrows, infantrymen don armor and wield spears, while generals sport ornate regalia. The weapons wielded by these terracotta warriors aren't mere replicas. They are functional instruments crafted with precision and efficiency. Crossbows, arrows, spears, and swords, some remarkably retaining their sharpness after over two millennia, showcase the advanced metallurgical expertise of the Qin dynasty. Recent studies have even suggested that certain weapons were coated with a protective layer of chrome, showcasing the technological advancements of that era. Beyond their mere representation, the placement of the terracotta army holds significant historical importance. Three vast pits containing these soldiers lie to the east of Emperor Qin Shi Huang's burial mound. Historians believe this strategic positioning was intended as a defense against potential threats from the eastern states conquered during his reign. These pits were ingeniously designed with corridors, partitions, and ramps that facilitated movement and access. The Terracotta Army transcends being merely a military marvel. It provides deep insights into the socio-cultural fabric of the Qin Dynasty. The diverse soldiers, 
representing various regions and ethnicities of a unified China, underscore the emperor's vision of a cohesive and united empire. It reflects his ambitious efforts to integrate diverse cultures and populations under a single banner. Moreover, the tools, weapons, and attire of the terracotta warriors offer a glimpse into the technology, fashion, and lifestyles of their time. Their attire reflects contemporary fashion trends, while their weaponry and tools highlight the craftsmanship and technological skills of the Qin Dynasty era. These soldiers seem almost like time capsules, preserving the essence of their civilization for future generations. The Mysterious Bronze Chariots The story behind the Terracotta Army is deeply intertwined with spiritual beliefs and the Emperor's relentless pursuit of immortality. Emperor Qin Shi Huang, known for his unwavering authority, held a profound conviction in the afterlife. His ambition to create an army to accompany him in death was not merely a display of vanity, but proof of his aspiration to extend his dominion beyond mortal realms. Emperor Qin's vision transcended earthly boundaries, aiming to ensure the everlasting glory of his empire even in the afterlife. He commissioned the construction of a monumental army, intended to symbolize his enduring power and safeguard his empire from spiritual threats. This extraordinary achievement in ancient history included not just soldiers, but also entertainers, animals, and a variety of artifacts within a sprawling mausoleum complex. These additions were carefully chosen, reflecting the Emperor's comprehensive vision of a self-sustaining realm in the hereafter. Near the imposing mausoleum of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, where the famous Terracotta Army stands, archaeologists unearthed another marvel from history. Two fully intact bronze chariots, accompanied by majestic bronze horses, discovered just 20 meters west of the main army site. These chariots, known for their intricate craftsmanship and sheer magnificence, hold a special place in Chinese archaeology. The splendor of the bronze chariots goes beyond their surface beauty. They offer a profound window into the technological skills, cultural beliefs, and societal values of the Qin era. Each chariot served a specific purpose, with their designs, sizes, and decorations revealing the essence of their roles. The foremost of these remarkable chariots, often called the High Chariot, is notable for its larger size and bold appearance, featuring taller wheels and a robust structure. It was primarily used as a war chariot, drawn by four bronze horses, symbolizing its military function. Its design, with highly compartmentalized features, enhanced visibility for commanders to oversee the battlefield, direct troops, and engage in warfare with exceptional precision. The high walls of this war chariot served as crucial protection against enemy arrows and projectiles, ensuring the safety of its occupants. Inside, an array of thoroughly crafted weapons, umbrellas, and tools symbolized its readiness for battle, reflecting full preparation and strategic foresight. The second chariot, often known as the Low Chariot, stands as proof of extraordinary craftsmanship. It is fully designed with intricate details that hint at its ceremonial and ritualistic purposes. Drawn by a majestic team of four horses, this magnificent chariot radiates a royal splendor. What distinguishes it is its gracefully lower stature, conveying a sense of dignity and leisure. Adorned with elaborate carvings and ornamental details, Every aspect of this chariot reflects a clear intention to serve as a vessel for the Emperor's personal and leisurely outings. Unlike its counterpart designed for the rigors of warfare, this chariot is a showcase of the Emperor's grandeur and wealth. From the finely crafted reins and bridles of the horses to the thoroughly detailed decorations on the chariot itself, each detail speaks volumes about the unparalleled artistry of Qin artisans. The texture of the horse's manes and the delicate patterns on the chariot's wheels are executed with such precision that they almost transcend the bronze material, appearing almost lifelike and fluid. The discovery of these magnificent bronze chariots, unearthed near Qin Shi Huang's mausoleum in China, has sparked intense debates among historians and archaeologists worldwide. 
These chariots are part of a larger burial complex that includes the famous Terracotta Army, highlighting the grandeur and full planning of the Qin Dynasty. Historians believe that these chariots, fully crafted with intricate details and using advanced metallurgical techniques of the time, served multiple symbolic and practical purposes. Some theories suggest that they were not only symbols of the emperor's authority in the afterlife, but also functional vehicles that would transport him in style and luxury on his spiritual journey. The materials used in their construction, predominantly bronze, but also adorned with lavish gold and silver embellishments, not only reflect the wealth of the Qin dynasty, but also showcase their mastery in metallurgy and craftsmanship. Each chariot is a testament to the technological advancements of ancient China, offering a glimpse into the engineering prowess and artistic sensibilities of the era. Furthermore, recent analyses using modern scientific methods have revealed intricate designs and inscriptions on the chariots, suggesting they were not merely ceremonial, but also intricately functional. These findings add layers of complexity to our understanding of ancient Chinese burial practices and imperial rituals, shedding light on how the Qin Dynasty sought to immortalize its rulers and their legacies for eternity. The Mystical Realm Beneath Mausoleum Mound Recent archaeological investigations provide compelling evidence supporting the existence of underground treasures beneath the Mausoleum Mound hinting at a forgotten realm of splendor and mystery. Soil samples taken from this sacred site have revealed mercury levels far exceeding natural background concentrations. This revelation strengthens the belief in a hidden subterranean palace, possibly containing rivers of mercury concealed beneath the imposing tomb mound. However, these interesting findings also raise numerous questions that captivate the curious mind. How did the skilled artisans of the Qin dynasty, known for their mastery and precision, acquire such vast quantities of mercury? How did they manage the complicated task of safely handling and installing it within the tomb, where eternal serenity was sought? What esoteric methods were employed to ensure that this liquid mercury remained fluid over millennia? Scattered among the ranks of the terracotta warriors and shimmering bronze artifacts, are depictions of exotic animals and rare celestial beings laden with symbolic significance within the fabric of Qin dynasty culture and spirituality. In ancient China, the deliberate inclusion of certain creatures within the emperor's mausoleum serves as compelling evidence of their profound symbolism. These creatures were not merely decorative, they were revered as symbols of fortune, embodiments of virtues, and bearers of protective attributes. The mausoleum itself was fully crafted to serve as the emperor's final resting place and eternal abode, with every detail, including these symbolic creatures, carefully merged into its design. This integration was meant to bestow upon the emperor a lasting legacy of protection, prosperity, and prestige in his afterlife. Among these symbolic creatures, horses held a particularly significant role, the presence of terracotta cavalry and bronze chariots underscored the crucial importance of horses in both military and strategic realms. Other intricate statues throughout the mausoleum complex added to its ceremonial and ornamental aura. These statues were crafted with meticulous attention to detail, resembling the pedigree horses that Emperor Qin Shi Huang received as gifts from every corner of his vast empire. In ancient Chinese cultural beliefs, horses symbolized qualities of swiftness, endurance, and nobility. Their inclusion within the mausoleum was a clear statement of the emperor's dominion over his expansive lands and his unwavering determination to continue his spiritual journey with the same vigor that defined his life's endeavors. Within Emperor Qin Hang's magnificent mausoleum, there exists a profound revelation an unveiling of a remarkable array of rare and exotic Avon creatures. These winged beings are deeply intertwined with ancient cultures, revered as messengers bridging the earthly realm and the celestial heavens. They symbolize profound concepts such as freedom, transcendence, and spiritual ascension. In the heart of this imperial resting place, 
these Avon representations carry significant meaning. It is assumed that they were carefully placed to facilitate communication between the Emperor and the Divine Realms, ensuring that his stature and messages could ascend to celestial spheres. The careful selection of these extraordinary Avon species also underscores the Emperor's vast influence. Yet amidst the grandeur of this mausoleum complex lies a realm of enigmatic animals. Some resemble species native to the Qin Dynasty's era, while others suggest a more mystical and spiritual nature. These creatures appear as if they were plucked straight out of ancient Chinese legends, beings once thought to possess special powers or to act as omens. Their inclusion in the mausoleum's design might not have been accidental. It could have been a deliberate choice to grant the emperor supernatural protection, ward off evil spirits, or bring good fortune to the afterlife. This interesting shade also serves as a captivating glimpse into the incredible biodiversity of ancient China. It offers a window into a time long past, when extensive forests, vast plains, and majestic rivers were teeming with a myriad of wonderful creatures. It arouses visions of grand imperial hunting expeditions and the exchange of unique animals as diplomatic gifts, all contributing to the beauty of the imperial assortment. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the heart of China, hidden beneath layers of earth and history, lies the mysterious tomb of the country's first emperor. For centuries, it has remained sealed, untouched by modern hands. Legends whisper of a curse that guards its secrets, whispers that send shivers down the spines of even the bravest archaeologists. Dr. Liang, a renowned archaeologist, had dedicated her life to unlocking the mysteries of ancient China. When the opportunity arose to finally open the tomb, she gathered a team of experts and set out on a daring expedition. As they approached the site, a sense of unease hung in the air. The tomb's entrance, marked by detailed carvings and guarded by stone soldiers, seemed to stare back with a solemn warning. According to ancient texts, disturbing the emperor's resting place would unleash calamity upon the world. Dr. Liang hesitated, torn between her thirst for knowledge and the fear of awakening an ancient wrath. Inside, the tomb revealed wonders beyond imagination, treasures of gold and jade, artifacts of a civilization long lost to time. Yet, with each discovery, strange occurrences began to unfold. Equipment malfunctioned inexplicably and whispers echoed through the dark corridors. As they delved deeper, Dr. Liang sensed a presence, a spectral guardian watching their every move. The team's unease grew palpable, fueled by eerie events and a sense of impending doom. Had they unleashed a force beyond their understanding? In a moment of clarity, Dr. Liang made a fateful decision to reseal the tomb and preserve its secrets. The risk was too great, the price of knowledge too steep. With heavy hearts, they retreated, leaving the emperor's tomb to slumber once more in silence. What secrets of ancient technology could be hidden within the tomb's unexplored chambers? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. The Hidden Treasures of Qin Dynasty While much attention is often given to the magnificent terracotta warriors of the Qin Dynasty, there's a fascinating part of the mausoleum complex that often goes unnoticed, yet it's equally enchanting. This hidden gem lies in the presence of acrobats, entertainers, and musicians. For historians and scholars, this vibrant group offers a private peek into the cultural and leisure activities of the Qin Dynasty, providing a deeper understanding of the emperor's vision for the afterlife within the rich variety of ancient Chinese civilization. Entertainment held a significant role in courtly life, with music, dance, acrobatics, and various amusements woven into religious ceremonies, grand celebrations, and royal banquets. Emperor Qin Shi Huang, the unifier of the Warring States and founder of the Qin Dynasty, was undoubtedly surrounded by a retinue of highly skilled entertainers who delighted him and his court with their performances. 
It's reasonable to believe that the emperor desired to carry the joy of these entertainments into the afterlife, ensuring an eternity filled with laughter and artistic expression. The figures of acrobats discovered within the mausoleum are captured in a mesmerizing array of dynamic poses. Some are frozen mid-handstands, while others twist their bodies into complex shapes, showcasing the incredible flexibility and skill for which ancient Chinese acrobats were renowned. In ancient China, the performers depicted in these figures not only showcased remarkable physical skills, but also underscored the significance of acrobatics as a refined art form during the Qin Dynasty. Far from mere entertainment, acrobatics during this era represented a disciplined craft that required tough training, deeply rooted in ancient religious and folk traditions. Alongside acrobats, the mausoleum complex also immortalizes musicians and dancers. These figures are depicted with instruments typical of the time, providing valuable insights into ancient Chinese musical traditions. These depictions offer clues about popular instruments during the Qin Dynasty, revealing their designs and possibly the musical styles favored at that time. The frozen dancers, captured in elegant poses, echo the rhythms and choreography of ancient dances. Some of these dances likely held ceremonial or spiritual significance, enriching our understanding of the cultural and religious dimensions of the Qin Dynasty. In essence, the presence of acrobats, entertainers, and musicians within the mausoleum complex unveils a captivating and multifaceted glimpse into this ancient world. It deepens our appreciation of the Emperor's aspirations for his enduring legacy. Unveiling Emperor Qin Shi Huang's Eternal Spectacle Certain images found in the mausoleum appear to show alternative forms of entertainment, such as jesters and performers. These entertainers likely provided light-hearted amusement through comedy, mimicry, or other theatrical performances. Their presence symbolizes the importance of joy, laughter, and entertainment in the emperor's vision of the afterlife. Beyond their cultural and artistic significance, the inclusion of acrobats and entertainers in the mausoleum carries a deeper symbolic meaning. Emperor Qin Shi Huang emphasized the continuation of his imperial lifestyle even in death, similar to how he safeguarded his empire with the terracotta army and facilitated travel with bronze chariots. The presence of entertainers ensures perpetual entertainment for the emperor's afterlife, making it as lively and vibrant as his rule on earth. In addition to these discoveries, archaeologists unearthed pits containing miniature architectural structures made from bronze and clay. These models featured intricate gardens, watchtowers, and palaces, possibly representing the grand complexes of the emperor or offering scaled-down versions of his empire. The miniatures from the mausoleum complex of the Qin Dynasty offer valuable glimpses into their architectural styles and urban planning. Alongside the famous terracotta army, the site has yielded a remarkable array of weapons such as crossbows, daggers, and halberds, showcasing the advanced metallurgical skills of Qin artisans. These weapons are not merely functional but also adorned with complex decorations and inscriptions that provide insights into their origins and purposes. One of the most interesting aspects of the mausoleum is its undiscovered elements. Through ground-penetrating radar and other non-invasive methods, researchers have uncovered suggestive clues indicating the possible existence of additional chambers within the tomb. These chambers could potentially hold the remains of Emperor Qin Shi Huang and his treasured possessions. However, there is a profound reluctance to fully excavate the mausoleum out of deep respect for the deceased, a fundamental principle in Chinese culture. Disturbing the final resting place of revered individuals like Emperor Qin Shi Huang is viewed not only as a physical intrusion, but also as a spiritual violation, reflecting the deep reverence for ancestors in Chinese tradition. The sacredness of the emperor's burial site, designed to ensure his eternal peace in the afterlife, is deeply rooted in cultural beliefs. Opening a chamber within the mausoleum could be viewed as disturbing the emperor's eternal rest, 
and the harmony of his eternal realm. Ancient writings, such as those by historian Sima Qian, vividly describe the interior of the tomb, often portraying it as filled with tricky traps meant to deter grave robbers. While some of these stories may be exaggerated or legendary, the potential for encountering unexpected dangers cannot be ignored. Without a thorough understanding of the tomb's layout and the potential hazards it conceals, there is hesitation to risk damage to this historic site or endanger lives. What are your thoughts about the mysterious depths of Emperor Qin Shi Huang's tomb? Let us have your opinions in the comment below.